Bikinis are one of the longest lived perennials in the landscape. Some people have said that they can live between 75 and 100 years, but what peonies do is they help bridge the gap between spring and summer with flowers. And today I want to talk about three different type of peonies you could try for your landscape. The first peony is the fern leaf peony. It gets its name from the fern-like foliage and it grows about 18 to 24 inches off the ground. It typically has a crimson red flower that could be either a single or a double blossom. Since it's short off the ground and it's one of our earlier flowering peonies, we want to put it in the front of the landscape so we can enjoy it. Don't be surprised if this plant goes dormant early August, which is very typical. And the next group of peonies I want to talk about are the herbaceous peonies. These are the plants that we both know and love. These have the traditional white, pink, red, sometimes coral or burgundy flowers, and they tend to be a tall plant. They can easily reach 36 inches tall and about 24 inches wide. Some of our older cultivars of peonies tend to flop when the flowers start to open. So one of the things that we can do is put a peony cage around the plant to give it the support it needs. A peony cage is a modified tomato cage, and once the plant is not fully, fully leafed out, you're not even going to notice the, um, the cage. Herbaceous peonies can flower at different times during the spring, anywhere from early spring to late spring. So what you can do is choose peonies that are going to flower at various times to extend the flowering period anywhere from three to six weeks. The last group of peonies that I want to talk about are called the intersectional peonies. These are the peonies that are crossed between the woody, or, um, woody tree peony and the herbaceous peony. What this gives us is best of both worlds. The intersectional peony has strong, sturdy stems, so we don't have to worry about staking it. It is more disease resistant, so we're not gonna see powdery mildew or verticillium volt like we do on some of our herbaceous peonies. They typically grow to a three by three size, so they are a little bit larger, but one of the outstanding features of these plants is the color of their blooms. This is where we get the true yellow, the corals, the coppers, oranges, and even lavender. They're becoming more popular in the garden center, so you can actually check them out when next time you're there. So when you're at this garden center this spring, check out the peonies to see what type of plant might fit your landscape. 